My mom was a songwriter, and we used to always travel back and forth to Nashville. We were originally going to move out here with my father. And then when they decided to get divorced, we just came out here by ourselves. I used to always sing. She'd always like tape me singing with her, and she'd write with people, and I like go through her stuff, and I find stuff, and I start rearranging stuff. High school was mostly people left me to myself. Didn't go out much. You were dealing with an individual, she never would go to the shopping mall. She'd never go out with friends. So she sat at home and she wrote songs. My mom's idea was to get me out of the house to make friends, so the best way is to put a band together. I liked being on stage. I liked being noticed for once. I liked someone hearing something actually relating with what I was saying. Went out to see a band play here in Nashville at a club called The Exodin, and there was a girl playing a piano. And I said to the guys with, I said, I don't know who that girl is, I don't know how old she is, but that girl's a star, and I got to be in her life somehow. Hence the beginning. We went into the studio, cut some demos with Lennon, went to New York, met with some people at MCA met with some people at Arista, met with some people at V2, and several other labels. In late 99, this guy I grew up with was working at MTV with Kurt Loder, and Kurt Loder um, was excited about the project. She's a girl, of course. And it's great to hear a girl singing in front of these, this really strong music, which is mostly guy music. So you have, she has a very, very good voice, she's very trained, but she doesn't sound like, say, Jonathan Davis from Corn or something. She's not shrieking and yelling at you. Not that Jonathan shrieks and yells at you. records and stuff is going on you're coming back to Hendersonville after your flights out to LA. Yeah, I was back like and that. forth in between school. Does everybody know that you're, you know, doing these deals? Everyone at school basically knew I, I would do the talent shows every year just to get out of class, so. Were they hideously jealous of you or was everybody very nice? Um, basically everyone didn't pay much attention to me. I don't care. I called for some reason Ken Krongard at Ariston. I said, Ken, we're getting ready to execute this deal at Warner Brothers. Do you want to hear these demos? So he sent it to me, and I listened, and this was real edge. This was aggressive guitars, drums, uh, you know, lots of wild sort of programming sounds, and just this voice that was grown up and expressive and angry. 18th birthday, and Ken's coming down. My mom had painted the kitchen floor because my rabbit had eaten the floor and stuff like that, and she wanted the house to look nice. She wasn't going to meet it, but she wanted to look nice or anything like that. Just come down. Well, Tuesday the 4th. Four di was it four days after my birthday? Three, four days. Um, came home. Find her collapsed in the closet. Apparently she's dead. She says, fuck you. 